What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to another Super Saf style camera comparison this time between the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Huawei P30 Pro this was the most requested so a thumbs up for that would be appreciated we're using the front facing cameras currently but we'll be doing lots of tests front rear facing, low light, uh, images, video, audio as well look out for the audio icon on the corner of the screen currently we're performing at 4K at, uh, with the Note 10 Plus on the P30 Pro it can only film at maximum of 1080p so you can check out the quality right now it's uh, quite windy let's switch over to 1080p before we do the stabilization test now we're at 1080p from both devices for the front facing camera this way things are fair side by side now let's uh, test out the stabilization so i'm just going to do a bit of a walk right now let's go ahead and run Now a new feature that we've got on the Note 10 Plus is live focus video. So you should be getting a bit of a blurry background effect here on the Note 10 Plus. You can change this to a few different effects as well. So for example, this one is where the background is gonna be black and white. Uh, quite interesting, different effect. And then we've got this sort of uh, 80s distortion effect in the background, which uh, also might be something that you like. Now testing out the video from the rear facing cameras, we're at 4K and we are on the primary camera. Now we do have two times optical zoom on the Note 10 Plus, but we have five times optical zoom on the P30 Pro and then we have 10 times hybrid zoom as well. So that's something that you definitely might like here on P30 Pro, let's uh, go ahead and test out the stabilization from this primary camera. So we're walking and now we're gonna go ahead and run. Okay, now let's switch over to the ultra wide on both. So what I like about these is you can switch. You don't need to switch off video. <laughs> When you're switching modes, you can just do that uh, while you are in the video mode continuously. Let's test out the stabilization now with the ultra wide. So we're walking. Now let's go ahead and run. There we go. Now to do another stabilization test, but this time we're at 1080p because you should get much more stable footage at 1080p. So let's. Uh, Walk uh, now. Let's go ahead and run. Switch over onto the ultra wide as well at 1080p on both. Again, we're gonna walk and now let's run. Right, new feature on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is zoom in mic. So if we zoom in should make the sound clearer and we are now zoomed in at five times on both uh, still talking the same uh, let me know what sounds better now one of the new features that we've got on both smartphones is the ability to have portrait video so a blurry background during video and that's thanks to the time of license that we've got now this feature also allows for a few different effects one of the effects that's on both devices is to have a black and white background while i should still be in color let me know how well it works. Now just testing out the autofocus on the Huawei P30 Pro. Seems to be doing pretty well. Same test now on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Also seems to be doing really well. And I'd say a tad faster as well. Right, so that was the video. Now, before we move on to images, if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon. That way you won't miss lots of coverage like this. Having said that, now let's look at what we're working with. So for the front facing cameras, the P30 Pro does have a much higher resolution and it also has a slightly wider aperture. But for the rear facing cameras, we have a very similar setup in the sense that we have a primary camera 
we have an ultra wide camera, we have a telephoto camera, as well as a time of flight sensor, which should help with depth information. Now, there are some differences here. We do have high resolutions on the P30 Pro, but by default, we are gonna be shooting at uh, roughly about the same resolution as the Note 10 Plus, and that is because that's where you're gonna get the best software processing, and that's what it's set at by default. And the P30 Pro does have five times optical zoom versus two times optical zoom on the Note 10 Plus. This is using periscope zoom technology, which is super, super cool. And the primary sensor is a red, yellow, and blue sensor, not red, green, and blue like we have on the Note 10 Plus and pretty much every other smartphone. The P30 Pro also has a larger sensor compared to the Note 10 Plus, and it'll be interesting to see how this affects low light images in particular. Now, all shots that you'll see have been shot on automatic, and this is to keep things as fair as possible and also to get the most out of that software processing. Both devices do have pro mode, so if you are somebody into that, then you can use those. Let's get to the images. So initially, we've got this outdoor image in good light. Uh, we've got uh, light coming in from the background as well, and both are doing a very, very good job. Uh, the Note 10 Plus, a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more punchy. Uh, this is something that Samsung devices do tend to do. You may or may not like that, but I can see that the Note 10 Plus does have better dynamic range. If you look towards the shadow areas in those trees, uh, those have been better maintained compared to the P30 Pro. Now let's try out the zoom. So of course we have more zoom on the P30 Pro so you can get in much closer to your subject. That is five times optical versus the two times optical on the Note 10 Plus. But you can have up to 10 times hybrid zoom. So this is where it uses a combination of digital and optical zoom. And if we do 10 times hybrid zoom versus 10 times digital zoom on the Note 10 Plus, you can see a massive difference here. The P30 Pro with a much, much cleaner image, and that is thanks to that periscope zoom. Now let's try out my favorite, and that is the ultra wide. So we've got our regular shot here. You ready for it? Boom, look at that. You can get so much more in just by standing in the same place, and you get some very, very interesting shots. Uh, both doing a really good job here. I'd say the Note 10 Plus is wider, so you are getting more into your shot, and uh, also seems to have slightly better dynamic range. Once again, if you look towards those shadow areas in those trees, uh, those have been maintained a little bit better on the Note 10 Plus compared to the P30 Pro. Now, I thought we'd play around with the zoom a little bit more, so here is a regular outdoor shot. Now, if we do use the maximum optical zoom on both devices, you can see that we can get in much closer on the P30 Pro compared to the Note 10 Plus, but the Note 10 Plus does seem to have better dynamic range. Now, if we use digital zoom on the Note 10 Plus to kind of replicate that side by side, uh, you will once again see that the Note 10 Plus does seem to have better dynamic range, but you do get more detail because of the optical zoom on the P30 Pro. Trying out 10 times hybrid zoom versus the 10 times digital zoom on the Note 10 Plus. Uh, I would say, once again, dynamic range slightly better on the Note 10 Plus. On the P30 Pro, however, you do get that detail. Now, trying out another outdoor shot, uh, this time in very tricky lighting. So I was under some trees and we had lots of light coming in in the background, whereas the foreground was pretty dark. Uh, here you can see that, once again, the Note 10 Plus is a little bit more punchy, more vibrant colors, which you may or may not like. But one thing that you can definitely see on the Note 10 Plus is the better dynamic range. Uh, you've still got all of the details in the foreground, but those clouds are still maintained much better compared to the P30 Pro, which has blown out those clouds. Now, if we try out the ultra wide here, boom! Once again, this theme continues where you've got uh, more vibrant, more punchy colors on the Note 10 Plus, but also better dynamic range. The details in those shadows have been maintained better and you've still got those details in those clouds. So I do like the dynamic range that you've got here on the Note 10 Plus. And I also like the fact that the Note 10 Plus is wider compared to the P30 Pro without giving you any sort of distortion. Now, an outdoor macro shot, you'll notice straight away that the P30 Pro does have more of a blurry background. And this seems to be because the Note 10 Plus has applied the variable aperture. So it's using the f2.4 aperture to get more in focus uh, compared to the f1.5, which is very, very shallow. So this is gonna come down to personal preference. One thing I do have to say is that I do prefer the colors on the Note 10 Plus. They do seem more natural compared to the more yellowy colors on the P30 Pro. And this is something that I have noticed in the P30 Pro, uh, maybe because it's got the red, 
yellow and blue sensor, it, things do tend to lean more towards the yellow side. This is something that I have noticed and it's also present here on this portrait mode shot. So this is where we're gonna get the blurry background. In terms of edge detection, I think both are doing a really, really good job. This is using the primary camera. And you can see that even the section between my arm, because of that time of flight sensor that both devices have, uh, they have managed to blur that out as well. So edge detection, thumbs up for both. But colors are so much better on the Note 10 Plus. We have that sort of yellow sort of tint on the P30 Pro, which I'm definitely not a fan of. Now the Note 10 Plus also allows you to use this portrait mode from the telephoto camera, which gives you the equivalent of around 50 mm, which is quite nice uh, for portraits. And the P30 Pro does let you do a 2x zoom when you're using this, but I'm assuming it's using digital zoom because five times would be quite a bit of zoom and you'd have to move quite a bit back. Uh, and here, the Note 10 Plus doing much better. Edge detection is good on both, I would say, but uh, the Note 10 Plus has a much sharper image with more detail. Uh, the P30 Pro is now starting to get a bit soft and you are starting to see some noise here as well. Once again, more on the yellow side. Another portrait shot from the primary camera, both doing really good in terms of edge detection. Thanks to that time of flight camera, but uh, I do prefer the colors once again on the Note 10 Plus. Uh, consistent theme here, a bit too much on the yellow and green side for me on the P30 Pro. Uh, once again, using that 2X, you do get a much better portrait in my opinion on the Note 10 Plus. This is something that initially wasn't there on the S10 Plus and Samsung, I'm assuming after watching my review and lots of other people's reviews have introduced this feature now on the S10 Plus as well as on the Note 10 Plus and I do really like it. It does do a good job in terms of giving you nice portraits with that sort of 50 mm equivalent. Now let's move on to low light. So this is where things will be quite interesting. So this initial shot has been taken on automatic. This is not applying any kind of night mode. And uh, I do like the P30 Pro better here. Uh, you do see some more detail in the clouds and everything. And that is, I think, because of that red, yellow and green sensor, as well as the larger sensor size. And then if we do use night mode on both devices, the Note 10 Plus actually does much better compared to without it. So that is quite interesting. Uh, this is something that wasn't initially available on the S10 Plus. Uh, this is something that is available on launch on the Note 10 Plus. But overall, I still prefer the P30 Pro image. If you look towards the clouds, there is more noise on the Note 10 Plus compared to that on the P30 Pro. Another low light image, firstly taken on automatic. Uh, the P30 Pro, a brighter image here. A little bit on the yellow side, again, if you look towards the ground area, it has sort of gone towards that yellow side. So this is something that I have definitely noticed. And if we do use that night mode, the Note 10 Plus does do a lot better than without. Uh, but once again, you can see that noise in the clouds area, whereas the P30 Pro is much cleaner. And I do prefer the image overall here on the P30 Pro. Now an indoor low light image. So this is an extreme test, so very, very low lighting. The P30 Pro, a much brighter image straight off the bat. Uh, that is thanks to that sensor. And if you do use night mode, then the Note 10 Plus, once again, it does produce a much better image than without. But once again, the P30 Pro winning out here for me, the details now looking much sharper compared to when we used it without. Night mode was something that was introduced by Huawei and it's something that I definitely do like. And I'm glad that more manufacturers are using it. But for me overall, the P30 Pro is still a low light king. Now, before we conclude, let's look at some selfies. So this is a selfie in sunlight. And here, I do prefer the colors on the Note 10 Plus. Uh, definitely quite a bit on the yellow side here on the P30 Pro. But generally speaking, both are doing a good job in terms of detail. The P30 Pro uh, does seem a tad sharper thanks to that higher resolution. Now let's try out the portrait mode. So this is where we're gonna have the blurry background. And neither of them are doing a perfect job, but I definitely do prefer the Note 10 Plus. The edge detection is better. If you look towards my ears, then the P30 Pro has struggled a little bit compared to the Note 10 Plus. Also the P30 Pro, now the background is a little bit more blown out compared to the regular image. So if we just go between the two, uh, and it seems like we do lose some dynamic range when we're using portrait mode from the front facing camera of the P30 Pro. On the Note 10 Plus, you can also adjust the blur after the fact. You can also do some different effects. This is something that you can't do on the P30 Pro. 
Now another front facing camera shot. Uh, once again, I think both are doing a pretty good job. Uh, the P30 Pro not as yellow this time, so it's a bit more on the blue side, which I do uh, like this time. And then let's try out the portrait mode. So uh, the P30 Pro once again is struggling towards my ears and things, whereas I think the Note 10 Plus is doing a better job. And also the blown out background now, it's uh, not completely blown out, but it's uh, much brighter compared to what we had without portrait mode. So it looks like uh, it's trying to brighten up the picture for the portrait mode, but dynamic range doesn't seem to be as good as without. Now, just some low light tests. This might have been a bit extreme, like I went out completely in the dark. I just wanted to see how much the sensors can pull in light. Uh, both of them not doing great here. The S10 Plus may be a tad brighter because it's not using as many pixels compared to the P30 Pro. But really speaking, in a situation like this, you will use the front facing flash. And here I do prefer the P30 Pro. Uh, it looks like a sharper image and the colors have been better maintained on my face. Uh, whereas I do look a little bit too kind of washed out on the Note 10 Plus. Right, so that was a lot to cover. What are my conclusions? Well, I'd say that they're very similar to when I did my camera comparison between the P30 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, the Note 10 Plus, very similar to the S10 Plus uh, in terms of the hardware as well as a lot of the software. So I'm noticing a lot of similarities between those. And I'd say that the P30 Pro, when it comes to firstly zoom, of course you do have that five times optical zoom. So it does win for zoom. It also wins overall for low light, that larger sensor, as well as the red, yellow, and a blue compared to the red, green, and blue. And a new thing that we tested this time as well was portrait video. So this is where it's gonna blur the background, which was a little kind of bad on both, I would say. But when we had the black and white background effect, that worked so much better on the P30 Pro compared to the Note 10 Plus. However, when it came to pretty much most of the things, I did prefer the Note 10 Plus. Dynamic range was clearly better on the Note 10 Plus. Yes, colors were a little bit more vibrant, uh, which you may or may not like. I personally don't mind those too much. I also preferred the ultra wide camera on the Note 10 Plus. It was more consistent and it was also wider compared to the P30 Pro. And for video as well, overall, I did prefer the Note 10 Plus. You had better stabilization. You had better audio overall as well. Both were pretty good, but uh, especially when we had the wind, the Note 10 Plus did do a better job of canceling that wind noise compared to the P30 Pro. Plus you do have that zoom in mic, so you can zoom into places and get better audio compared to the P30 Pro. There's also HDR10 Plus recording as well as 4K at up to 60 frames a second available on the Note 10 Plus. These are things that I couldn't test in this particular video because uh, this video is at 4K 30 frames a second. And also for the front facing camera, I did prefer the selfies overall on the Note 10 Plus apart from in low light. The video from the Note 10 Plus from the front facing camera, you do have 4K and you have all of those effects if you want to or not want to use them. Uh, you do have that flexibility on the Note 10 Plus. So for the front facing camera as well, I did prefer the Note 10 Plus overall. That's what I think anyway. What do you guys think? Which one of these did you prefer overall? Definitely drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to see lots of image samples from lots of different devices, then be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm at SuperSaf and I do post very regularly on there. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. These camera comparisons take a very, very long time to put together. So a thumbs up would be appreciated. And if you want to see more stuff like this, as I mentioned earlier on, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of the future content coming up. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.